briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing copyright infringement and unfair competition lawsuit in 2005, the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York was tasked with determining whether an inventive photograph concept could be copyrighted. Bill Diodato Photography, LLC, BDP, accused luxury fashion company Kate Spade, LLC, of unlawfully appropriating their photography concept, whereby fashion accessories were highlighted by a woman seated on a toilet. In a twist of roles, BDP had provided a similar photograph for a Kate Spade advertising campaign previously. Green-eyed and smelling foul play when Kate Spade later produced a strikingly similar image, BDP launched a lawsuit claiming copyright infringement and unfair competition. The court, however, found itself grappling with the notion of whether specific elements of a photograph like concept, dominant shapes, and setting even merited protection under copyright law. In a decision that was to set a precedent, the court determined that the idea of a fashionable woman on a toilet was not unique to BDP. They also concluded that certain aspects like the framing and standard techniques fell under the doctrine of scenes affair, elements dictated by what they depict or standard methods of expressing certain ideas rather than the creativity of the artist, and thus could not be copyrighted. This led to a significant win for Kate Spade. The court granted their motion for summary judgment, effectively throwing out BDP's claim of copyright infringement. BDP's bid for additional discovery under Rule 56, F, a rule that allows a court to deny a motion for summary judgment if the non-moving party shows that it cannot present facts essential to justify its opposition, was also denied. In a detailed judgment, the court dismissed the complaint on the basis that the supposedly copied elements were non-original and unprotectable, crumbling BDP's copyright claim. Further, BDP's Lanham Act claim, which concerns the infringement of trademarks, was dismissed for not involving matters related to the origin of goods. Rejecting Kate Spade's request for fees and costs closed the final chapter in this significant case between the two giants. In the clash of creative expression and legal limitations, this precedent-setting case affirmed that while creativity was integral to artistic disciplines, not every visual element in a photographic composition could be fenced off by copyright law. This ruling remains a reminder to photographers that ideas, standard techniques, however inventively used, often remain in the public domain. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.